So um, I think about Dean's poems a lot as kind of apocalypses. And I, um, I think about how his poems are both sexy and sentimental at the same time, and steely and soft at the same time, and ironic, and risking almost to being cute at every single level. So the other day, we were at a wedding in Rome, a very big Italian wedding in Rome, and I saw a Dean poem happen. So here's what happened. So there we were, and the room, it was a madhouse, everything was going on. And um, the r rumor spread that, oh, somebody walked in on this man and a woman having um, relations, having sex in the, uh, in the women's bathroom. Well, the Italians are not easily stunned, but they were stunned by this because these two people were married to each other <laughs> for 10 years. Everybody was, you know, bravoing all around. My God, how could this happen? <laughs> so this Dean poem is, uh, The Rhythms Pronounce Themselves Then Vanish. It's a very recent poem. It was in the New Yorker a few months ago. The Rhythms Pronounce Themselves Then Vanish, which I think is true. After they told me the CT showed there was nothing wrong with my stomach, but my heart was failing. I plunked one of those weird $2 tea balls I bought in Chinatown, and it bobbed and bloomed like a sea monster and tasted like feet. And I had at this huge chocolate bar I got at Trader Joe's and didn't answer the door, even though I could see it was UPS with the horse medication. And I thought of that picture Patty took of me in an oval frame. Sweat itself is odorless, composed of water, sodium chloride, potassium salts, and lactic acid. It's the bacteria growing on dead skin that provides the stench. The average lifespan of a human taste bud is seven to 10 days. Nerve pulses can travel up to 170 miles per hour. All information is useless. The typical lightning bolt is one inch wide and five miles long. And, and the poem I'm gonna read is, uh, from me, is, uh, is, a, is a, about a different kind of apocalypse. It's called The End of an Age. Goodbye, locomotives and other motives. Goodbye. Movable type, laptop computers and buffaloes. Goodbye and goodbye. And goodbye, cantilevered bridge. Goodbye, my tessellated childhood. Bye-bye. Just pretend I know what I'm talking about. Today, lurchings into reggae's lazy labyrinth. Tomorrow, videophonic hookup with Tunisia. Just like that, we're surfing jeweled rose water. Been working on my theory. Her name is Lucille. No, that's my guitar. Goodbye. My new theory's name used to be the human genome, the collected forays of Shakespeare. I want to do with you, I want to do with you what spring does, weakening my knees. I've consulted this big history of the cinema and read myself into vacancies the historian left vacant. Thanks, historian. One day Eminem will be Gregorian chant. Once there were those who believed in the existence of Jean-Paul Sartre. We keep looking goodbye into the moo or the maw of the fashion model, assuming hunger would talk back. No use bringing up when the elephants sang goodbye. The dinosaurs were killed by a colossal fiery metaphor. So long. How's that? Can you hear me? In the, in the paper I see they found another dinosaur. Hello, today there are more dinosaurs than when I was but a lad. 
Anyway, this dinosaur, pterosaur, had a little body and big wings, and making it a constant predator, watch out, much like those we dated in our subtracted youth. So its extinction relates to the rudder that sprouted like a caliper from its head, as big as the rest of the bird. Who can't sympathize? Goodbye, pterosaur, what's your hurry? I forage in the ash forest, seeking a flake of snow. I stumble across the anachronistic remote and change the channels on the horizon. From this porch of protein, I marvel as to how the streets are all swept clean in the dark. I tag along with my trusty sidekick, Chow Bella. The sidekicks have all bid us good night.